This is the third video in a seven video series that describes the required steps and best practices for bringing a model from Autodesk Revit MEP using East Coast's MEP design to fabrication over to fabrication for AutoCAD MEP and later into DuckMaker for fabrication using the patented East Coast CAD CAM design to fabrication workflow and software. In this video, I will be demonstrating how MEP design to fabrication is used inside both Revit MEP and fabrication for AutoCAD MEP to apply your specs and manufacturer defaults to the model automatically. The first thing we need to do before exporting is filter down to only what we want to export. We're going to click on a piece of duct, right click, go to hide and view, by filter. This is where you choose what you want to be visible and not visible. In this case, we only want duct, duct fittings, and flex duct to be visible. Flex ducts, ducts, duct fittings. Once that is set up, we are ready to export. We have the option here to select the entire model for export, or we can filter it further and export the model by system. I feel it's easier and more efficient to work with the model one system at a time. So I will use the hide and view by filter command again to isolate just the supply system and I will export only the supply system. Hide and view by filter. Here's on the filters tab now you see we have supply, return and exhaust. We're going to uncheck exhaust and return leaving only the supply visible. Okay. Now to do this, I swipe over all of the elements. We'll go to the Add-ins tab to access the MEP Design to Fabrication commands. I select the drop-down and we're going to select Export Selection, save the file to the desired location. Once I have exported the system, I am ready to import them into fabrication for AutoCAD MEP using MEP Design to Fabrication commands. Now assuming that you have everything set up and ready to go as outlined in the Setting Up Defaults and Preferences video, we are going to go to the Insert tab. We're going to select the Revit icon on the ribbon that is provided by MEP Design to Fabrication. We're going to select the XML file for the supply system that we exported from Revit and open it. If there are fittings in the Revit model that your fabrication for AutoCAD MEP system has not seen before, then you'll be asked to map these fittings to one of your fabrication templates. Typically, these are matched up correctly by default, but if needed, you can select the drop down and select the desired fittings to map to. After you have mapped all of your fittings, you can select Done to finish the import. And here you see we have round takeoff, it mapped to the round tab conical which we want. Rectangular end cap, rectangular cap, that's also correct. So we're going to click finish. Now at this point, all of the Revit MEP elements will be imported in the correct 3D location and according to the specifications and manufactured defaults that you specified. And here you see that we have our supply system fully imported.